Wait, what? What just happened? What? Did... What's that? You like teaching twizzles as much as I do? That's what I thought. Let's do it. Hello everyone, today we are gonna talk about the method to the madness of teaching novice back twizzles. So just this morning I had a lesson with one of my athletes, Iris, who was kind enough to let me film the process of her learning all the exercises and learning her twizzles. She did such a great job. The videos that you're going to see of her, it was just one lesson for 30 minutes this morning and she made great strides. So I was very excited. I think watching a skater go through the process of learning these exercises is probably better than me just demonstrating them. So you can see where the struggles are going to happen. I usually see the same struggles each time and fix them quickly on the exercise. And then we go to the next step to get the move going. First exercise we are going to do is pump and hold. The first thing I do is have them pump and hold. The next thing we're going to do is play add-on. So we're going to pump and hold and then slowly do the twizzle. But really what I want them to do is three turns so they feel the outside edge, inside edge, outside edge, inside edge. Now we hold the edge and then slowly twizzle feeling each edge. Next, we're going to do the twizzle a little faster once that gets comfortable and we're going to pull the arms in so it rotates quicker. Now pull it in. The next segment that I need to always explain to the skater is the three turn. It's a little odd because I'm having them scissor their arms while they're in the three turn in order to wind up, so to speak, for the twizzle. So I usually position the skater on the line, same arm, same foot scissor the arms by the hips in order to feel <clears throat> them brush closely. Scissor while you three turn and that prepares you for the next part. So now we're going to put the three turn together with the twizzle and the pump. So we push, scissor, and now pump, and then twizzle. Now we go to the blue line and we put those two things together, the three turn with the pump and the slow twizzle, and then the three turn and the pump and the slow twizzle. Now we put everything together on the blue line and I just have them take their time on the twizzle. Three turn, same arm, same foot, brush and scissor, pump and twizzle. Now I make sure that the pattern is correct, that they twizzle and finish the twizzle at the top of the circle. That way the three turn takes them to the blue line. Otherwise they're gonna run out of space. Good, now take your booty toward the lobby. Yes, and in, yes, and three turn. Take your booty toward the flags and push. Good, and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, there's a wall. The last exercise that we are mastering is getting the timing correct. Now that we have the body parts in the right place, the placement of everything on the pattern, we know where the axis is, we know where everything goes, now let's quicken the timing. So it has continuous flow, I use a waltz count. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Quicker. Four, five, six. One, two, three, 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 four, five, six. Oh! And voila, we have baked a beautiful moves cake. We have cooked it long enough. The exercises have put the skater in the right position, in the right position place at the right time and now we put it on the axis for the move and a beautiful move comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 
Good girl. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Look at you cruising. You're doing great. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's what I'm talking about. Get it, girl. Woo! That was awesome. Go, Iris! I hope this video has been helpful for you. At the very least, steal some things. I know that as a coach, we should all be stealing from each other. I say stealing nicely. Um, because we all learn. We learned from either our coach or other coaches. And you mix that up and you become a great coach by learning from other people. So let me know if you have any questions. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. When you subscribe, the algorithm likes me and good things happen. All right, so make sure you have a nice day.